Okay, Emily. Uh, Emily Klein, where are you calling in from? Whoops. Hi. Hey there, Emily. I'm just outside New York. How are you? Okay. NYC. NYC. Well, welcome to the call. Um, Thank you. So you said, I'm feeling bored and uninspired in my business. And I feel the desire to do it in a different way, but I'm not sure how to do that or what that would look like. I envision some kind and then it stops. Oh. <laughs> Always leave a you know cliffhanger is oh my god I'm so excited so yeah uh, you imagine some kind of what something community something groupish something I spend like I uh I work one to one with people I'm a single mom my daughter's seventeen she's never home like I had I don't have like posse. And I feel like people also are craving posse, but I also, I'm like, it's tired of the coaching. I have all these things I do and I'm trying to figure out how I could like all the, all the non-linear multi-passionate people could come hang out somehow and like have that be good enough. Well, Does that make sense? Not entirely, but let me just show you something. Okay. So um, you might want to take a screenshot of this for everyone. This is something I got from Linda Claire Puig. It's this um, client offer matrix. And it's an interesting way to think about what you uh, offer. That there are four quadrants, right? There's one-on-one -on -one stuff and there's one-to-many stuff. There's high touch and there's low touch. This is a great exercise to do to look at. Um, where's your business? Which quadrant is your business strong in? Is there any that's just missing? Oh God, I can't even see that. And I'm wearing my glasses. Okay, just take a screenshot and you can look at it later. Um, um, but, it's high touch, one-to-one. -one. Yeah, right. So then, then there's opportunities in those other quadrants. And in these quadrants, you'll see some like examples of what those things can be that you can look at later. Um, so, so that's the first thing I would say. Then the second thing I would say is I mean, I love the idea. So if you're wanting to create some more kind of group thing, have you seen examples of other businesses that do things that are similar to what you want to do? No. Like, can I just read you a little thing that I just like jotted just yeah. to help? Because maybe it will help you figure out where I'm at. And you might be like, no, but I put... Life coach, health coach, chef, ritualist, writer, treasure hunter, curator, altar maker, furniture repurposer, human design enthusiast. I love gravy and the corner piece of cake and bitching about my frozen shoulder. And I like want people to have like a lot to have a place. Does that make uh, sense? Now? No? Still no? no? Well, the. And I found you from a day, by the way, shield crap. Oh, bless him. Yeah. Bless him. Well, um, have you seen him recently then? Uh, I did his, I'm a certified uh, morning altars teacher. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Everyone check out. If you want to see just a, a beautiful way of making beauty in the world and Liddy, he would be somebody to connect with uh, potentially mm. as a hub and maybe potential collaborator. Morningalters.com. Yeah really beautiful stuff going out and making a uh, beauty in nature with with them he's a wonderful human yeah so here's the main thing i would say there's two things one is if you go to marketingforhippies.com slash puttering prep maybe i'll just pull up this link there's a bunch of exercises i've got around honing the niche um and I would just dig into these exercises and see what you see. Also, there's the, uh, mentioned a couple of times now, uh, the ideal client webinar that may be of use. Because the thing that I'm missing is just, okay, wait, what is the issue? Who, is the, who are these people? What's the exact issue that they're having? So, so number one, that's just to be honed. Number two is, you know, and for, for a lot of you, if you ever feel stuck, like, I want to do something different. I'm not quite sure what it is. To me, that's a homework phase. That's a time to just start asking around, you know, okay, what is, who's doing stuff? And I would just, you know, share on social media and ask, like, I've got an idea. Has anyone heard of anything remotely like this? And start researching other models because that gives you something real 
to bounce mm. up against and say, I like this, but I don't like that. I think there are people that like ex feel like they're a little bit too much. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's a good start. It's a good seed. And I just think that there's, you know, probably some watering and tending to that seed to have that sprout into a more full uh, iteration of, of what it is. Um, but it's a good seed. It's a good direction. It's a good start. So number one, keep honing that. But number two, keep looking for models, examples, structures that you think like that's the, that's the ticket. Because um, eventually that's the meeting place, right? Is like, okay, I've figured out who these people are and the, the exact kind of constellation of interests or, or symptoms or the type of person, qualities, but also the kind of structure that I really want to do. And then that's the niche. These kind of people, this kind of an offer. And when you really nail that, your ideal client just look at you and like, I can't believe this. This is amazing. I've been waiting for this my whole life and I didn't even know I was waiting for it. Mm -hmm. But it takes a bit of research. Do um, you know about uh, uh, Emily Wapnick and her multi potentialite stuff? Maybe, but I'm going to go with probably not. Okay, so I would just check it out. I think it's Emily Wapnick, W A P N I C K. But she's done stuff about multi potentialite. Um, and so she, you might want to check out her work. Uh, There's uh, also like a piece about um, like before you die, like, what do you want your life to be about before you die? And I envision like maybe people being together and taking each other's adventures together. I have a couple of. It could be if people are craving that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, craving that. So anyway, it's just, you know, keep going, keep going. Don't stop. Yeah. 